rolled all right. What's going on, beautiful people? Now, a little bit of a goody good good news. I got the new mic. Let's hope it's plugged correctly in and I haven't been a smooth brain and screwed the even that up. So, got the new mic. Time to test this puppy out. Do a little bit of a product review. If it turns out good, it turns out good. But I do like the quality of it. It's a little bit more expensive than the Purple Panda. Ooh, gassy gas gas. So, fingers crossed. Send it! Woo! That'll wake you up right there. So, it's a little bit more expensive than the Purple Panda, so let's hope that, you know, better sound quality, all that jazz, and I don't have to deal with the stupid issue I've been having in the past. Now, there's been a lot of nice product reviews for this one, vouching for it, so let's hope I didn't just burn money essentially trying to fix the problem and, you know, have it reoccur. So, yeah, now um, I just met up with uh, one of my friends. We're going probably down to, to, to have some breakfast around the coastal area. Maybe do a little bit of stupid things. Because uh, he likes to wheelie and I'm learning how to wheelie. So, well at least we're learning how to wheelie on this bike. Because um, I noticed that the way uh, the Street Fighter works, it's, um, yeah, it's a little bit different because of how long the wheelbase on the bike is not to mention even when you turn off all the um, rider aids and anti wheelie and all that kind of stuff even if you have the ABS on a little bit it'll um, yeah it'll not want to lift the front wheel so I am just trying to get a little bit of use to that kind of feeling essentially of being on the back wheel again because I used to be able to wheelie my 899 quite decently, like I never got to the point where I was like on a balance point, I could just pop the front wheel up for like a short spew and then yeah, then essentially I'll be able to come bring it back down softly without slamming essentially. Now I've managed to, how would you say, pop a wheelie on this bike, I think once properly, the second time I tried, I did lift the front wheel off the ground a little bit, but I was kind of like fishtail. It was kind of like wobbly when I came back down, essentially. So, yeah, might give that a bit of a give that a bit of gaze. But yeah, that's that's the friend on the S1000. Nice piece of kit. And yeah, I'd love to get me one of those one day. Old one or a new one, either or, because they're sexy bikes. Very sexy. And boy, that that idle sound is nice. The da -da 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 is like killer shit. Pop. That's nice. I do like the exhausts that are uh, come on the beamers. They just make it sound so so aggressive and so sexy. One day, one day my dream garage will be filled. Essentially, essentially what I want is well, you already have one of the bikes right here. The other bike would be an S1000, and I would say that. Well, not other. I'd say the top three on my list, bucket list, is obviously what I have now. A S1000 and a R1 or an R1M. Fuck yeah, hit it wheelie. Okay. But no, that 
that is the one sexy bike. I do like that colour scheme. It's sad that Beamer doesn't do it, offer that colour scheme anymore. Or you have to pay a shit ton for it. I think he's having a bit of a pretty winks with his uh, GoPro. To be honest, anyone that I've ever had the pleasure of meeting that does recording. <laughs> had the pleasure of a uh, meeting that does use a GoPro while recording or anything. I always seem to have um, technical issues. Uh, fourth gear is bad on it. <laughs> it doesn't want to pop up in fourth. I guess uh, the power band for a proper wheelie is probably, well, probably second and third like mine. I do love that sound that the Beamer makes, man. The even just when you're just cruising at a uh, normal pace. Such an addicting little noise. I do need to get myself one of those quad locks for my phone though. I do have to say that. Alright, we can't do anything stupid on this, on this one. Oh, it's dead. Ha, <laughs> shit. So is, is it flat? Is it dead? Yeah, it's flat. Uh, I forgot it. I forgot the space. That sucks. His GoPro is completely dead. I do wish that these microphones would be able to do is pick up like the proper tone and pitch of the uh, exhaust because I noticed when um, essentially I have sound on my bike it's um, very detuned then at least the notes are very detuned so it kind of sucks Yeah, it sounds very detuned and kind of like flat, which is a little, ah, it sucks. That's all I can say. Cause this, oh, I'm gonna stick back a bit cause he's flicking rocks. And I fishtailed a little. They need to clean that gravel up, boy. Someone's gonna slip and fall. Luckily my tires are a little bit Oh can I see? I'll keep my tires are a little bit on the warmer side at the moment. But I did feel my ass in slide out a little. Now I only have a vague uh, knowledge as to where the f I'm going, so If you keep going in this direction, you'll hit the coast some point. Wop wop. Hey, what's going on, buddy? What a dick. Didn't even acknowledge us. I'm trying to be nice and cool and shit. But yeah, like I said. Keep going this direction, you'll hit the coast eventually. I mean, technically you could do that with us anywhere in Australia. You keep going one direction long enough, you'll hit the coast eventually. It's a little bikey boy. Don't get me wrong, I don't mind cyclists on the road. What I don't like is when they know they have cars behind them, that they intentionally just sit like two thirds of, take up two thirds of the lane because it's just like be a little bit more considerate come on 
Like, y'all are not even paying to you. You don't need registration for your bicycles on the road. So you shouldn't really have your bicycles on the bloody road. That's my thought process, but yeah, that's it. He's doing the same thing. And yeah, we have arrived. 